um, but also make it pretty powerful so you could use it with multiple controllers and in multiple rooms and so forth. Um, we were surprised we got a lot of interest from the custom install uh, market from CD installers and so forth. And uh, that's how the Red Eye Pro actually came about was suggestions, well, if it, you know, IR is great, but if it could have RS-232 or, you know, contact closure and so forth, we uh, we, we went down those paths and, and uh, designed the product based on that feedback. Um, so at the start, it was originally designed to be a consumer product. I think that actually benefits installers as well in the sense that um, two things. Um, the install process is not, doesn't require lots of programming and sophisticated, you know, uh, network knowledge and so forth. Um, it, it really, if things are simple, even though you understand the complex parts, you can do you can do the job faster. So that's one thing, and we're we're staying committed to that and trying to make things more simple as time goes on. At the same time, we're also offering more and more of the um, installer configuration tools, such as scripting, which we rolled out with the Red Eye Pro. So we're adding more custom install specific features um, and trying not to sacrifice that that basic simplicity at the same time. So it's, it's kind of a tightrope that we walk, but that's the approach and it has a historical basis for it. Um, you know, over time, um, I think the fact that we build uh, hardware and software benefits, um, benefits our customers because we have tight control over everything that goes into the, um, into the hardware um, and, it, and it can really be tuned to work well together. I think you notice this when you play with Red Eye on a Wi-Fi network. Um, I would put our response time as far as button presses, as far as the um, speed with which the application opens, I would put that up against any, any other product out there. I think we've done a good job of optimizing that. And we do that, we can do that because we make both components, the hardware and the software. So. Um, You know, I think beyond that, um, there are technical differences as far as, uh, you know, we've chosen to do things. We started with iOS and then we've moved to PC and other people use kind of a PC installed software program. Uh, there's, there are other differences. I don't know if that in the end, those choices make a huge difference. Maybe you guys can tell me whether you feel like um, the ability to, program on an iPhone is a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, I bet you we could probably get arguments for both. Um, there's a question here. Do you have a plan to 